Hi, it's Reagan from Tunstall's Teaching Tidbits, and I am so excited to show you Place Value Unit 4 in the Guided Math Lessons today. All right, so I've got my Unit 4 lessons in their binder and all of my whole group and small group activities in the tub, and I'm ready to go. Inside the binder, just like in the previous units, I have my warm-up. This is going to come out, and it's going to go in my whole group area. It's my five-minute kickoff activity for each day of the week throughout Unit 4. And what I love about these is it covers those concepts that take lots of repetition to uh, really drive the concept home, but they're fun. They're games, they're open-ended, and the kids don't get bored with them. So for example, like on Monday, we're going to play Break the Chain. And it's just a fun way to get um, your kids thinking and warmed up for math and hit concepts at the same time. So that's going to go out and into my whole group area. And then each lesson out of the 20 lessons in the unit are um, going to follow the same format, just like in the previous units. I've got my essential question, my lesson objective, and then I move into my whole group teaching time. So while I'm teaching whole group, these are the discussion questions I want to be sure to hit on. And any materials that I need to make sure are prepped. Those are going to be in the tub here. Or you might have um, manipulatives listed that you need to pull out. From my whole group time, I'm going to have small group time. Now my class um, breaks into five groups. And they rotate through those five groups every 10 minutes. So we're talking quick. This of course is totally adjustable to whatever your time frame is, whatever time you need to have with your groups and how many kids you have and how many groups you have and all of that fun stuff. For me, it worked having five. I had four to five kids in a group and my groups were math journal, math centers where they played an independent math game, Technology, where they went either on a computer or to an iPad. And then uh, an independent practice station, like maybe your workbook time. And then finally your small group, which is with you. All right, so this small group lesson is going to go along with the whole group concept. But we're going to get into the nitty gritty. And then with each small group lesson, I'm able to remediate, teach to level, and then enrich. So it's going to follow that same concept throughout the 20 lessons and it's going to culminate with an assessment all about those place value standards. The assessments are going to be um, roughly 20 questions. I tried to keep it to 20 that way uh, it's easy to grade. The format is going to follow the same that I've been teaching every day so that's not going to trip up my little firsties. And um, I did want to tell you one more thing before we move on to the activities. Even though it says day one, day two, um, please don't ever feel like you have pressure to teach that in one day and move on. If your kids are not quite ready to move on to another concept and you've read the next day and you just don't feel like it's within reach, then take two or three days and really get that one concept down before you move on. We've got enough pressure as teachers we don't need more. So, I mean, just take the time your class needs. It's not going to hurt you. You're still going to come out on top. Your kids are going to be better for it. And, um, yeah, that's my lecture on that. Okay. So, next I've got all my whole group and small group activities prepped and ready to go in their tub. Now, normally this tub has uh, Unit 3 and Unit 4. But I took Unit 3 out because I've only got one hand and it's... It's difficult and I didn't want to be fumbling around. So I've got my lessons all bagged up and ready to go for place value in this tub. And I am just ready to pull them when I need to for that particular lesson. I wanted to show you one lesson in particular. That's going to be my very first one. Just to give you an idea of how to start place value. Sorry. Okay. So... I am going to start with the number 10. Now, this is unit four, and my class has been working with the number 10 since the very beginning, since unit one. But they don't really have any idea about place value yet. So I'm gonna take it slow. 
this tens and ones mat I'm going to save and I'm only going to worry about giving them these tens cards and these ones cards but they don't know really what that's about quite yet. Now we're very used to linker cubes so we're going to start with linker cubes and we're going to make a tower of ten and each kid will have a, a ten card and enough linker cubes to make uh, all the teen numbers. So that would be about 19 linker cubes each. They're going to build a tower 10 and place it under their 10 card. And we're going to talk about that group of 10. And then I'm going to give them uh, a smaller card. I'm going to say, okay, now I want you to build two more. So we're going to have a tower of 10 and two more. So they're going to build their two extras. And we're going to count those and say that's 10, 11, 12. And I say, okay, can you place that two? on top of that 10 to make the number 12 and they're going to actually physically put the two in the ones place without really realizing that that's what's happening yet but what's great about this is that it shows them that i have a group of 10 on the bottom and now i have two ones on top and that makes the number 12. we're going to continue this process until they get very comfortable building those teen numbers and also understanding that it's made up of 10 and then more. Once they have that down, that's our whole group lesson. When we move into small group, that's when I'm going to bring out the tens and ones mat. And I'm going to start using that vocabulary, tens and ones, and having them use that vocabulary as well. So they're going to build a 10 and place their 10 on the 10 side. And then they're going to build six ones and place the ones here. And I'm going to say, well, how much is that? And they'll say, oh, that's 16. We just did that. Oh, okay. Well, show me that number 16. And then we're going to decompose 16. And we're going to say, okay, so it had six ones and it had one 10. And so we'll have our 10 here and our six ones. We will continue doing that until they are very comfortable. That's going to be lesson one. Now for those enriched kids that are ready, they might even be ready to move on up to their 20s and try the same concept. That's where you really kind of see the difference because now it's not just 10 and 1, it's going to be two 10s and 1s, which can be a little tricky for your remediate kids and your on-level kids. But that's going to be great for your enriched kids. So that's all lesson 1 right there and it just goes on from there throughout the whole unit. So hopefully that helps you understand a little peek at place value.